first of all, you need to get some basic tools. To do that, you need to find a tree, punch it. Yes, I said punch it. Go on, do it. It won't hurt. There you go. You have to keep punching it, it until it turns into a little flowing block or until it's in your inventory. I know what you're thinking. Why is this tree not falling? Well, that's how things are here in Minecraft. So deal with it. Once you have about 10 logs, then you go to your inventory and grab these logs and place them in a 2x2 two two box in the upper corner. Grab these planks and place the one in each slot uh, in the 2x2 two two box. Grab that crafting table. Hold it in your hand and place it down. Place down two planks on top of each other in that crafting table. Grab those sticks. Make an axe. You can see how here. Pick up that crafting table with the axe by hitting it. Now go to a biome from where you want to, where you want your house. I suggest a grassy place that is near a cave, and that is flat. The cave isn't. The cave part isn't so important. Place down your crafting table and make a chest with planks. Place down the chest and store stuff in there. Now that you have a base, you want to go find some sheep. Once you have found those sheep, then kill them and get their wool. Once you have three wool, then you want to go back to your base. Hope you remember where it is. Then make a bed and sleep in it. You will want to make a pickaxe and a sword. Make them out of stone. Go to your cave and start searching around for ores like iron, lapis, coal, and others. Once you have about 45 iron ore, go back home and make a furnace. Smelt the iron in it. Once the iron is done smelting, then take them and make an iron pickaxe and armor. Go to your mine. Go try to find diamonds. Be careful of lava pools because they spawn near the same levels. Once you have three or more diamonds, then go to your base and make a diamond pickaxe and a bucket. Fill that bucket with water and go find a lava pool. Pour the water over the lava and it will turn to obsidian. Find that obsidian with the diamond pickaxe. Once you have at least 10 obsidian, then go back to your base and make a flint and steel. Fill the portal with the obsidian and light it with the flint and steel once you're ready. You want some armor and a, and a iron or higher sword. Go into the nether and remember where your portal is. Find another fortress and find the blaze spawner, then kill lots of blazons until you have 10 blaze rods. Go back home and wait until night, then go out and try to find some endermen and kill them. Once you have at least 18 ender pearls, then combine them with the blaze powder. Then you want to go mine again for some more diamonds and go make diamond armor. You should have lots of levels by now. If not, go outside and kill some monsters. You will want to make a lot of bookcases and an enchanter table. Place the books around the enchanter and take lapis and put it in there with the thing you want to enchant. Select what you want to enchant with and grab the enchanted item and take it. Take some blaze rods and make a brewing stand. Then make some strength potions and some health potions. You will want some blocks, food, a bow, and arrows. If you're ready, then throw an ender eye in the air and follow the direction after picking it up. After about three minutes, throw another and head that direction. Repeat the process until the ender eye goes into the ground, then dig a staircase down. Down there, you will find a pit of lava, a monster spawner, and some frame things. Place the ender eyes in the hold after taking care of the monster spawn. Jump in the portal if you're ready. Mine or build over to the surface of the mainland. When you get there, you will want to start shooting at the top of the city and pillars to hit the crystals. Be careful of afterwards, because some of them might explode. 
Once all those are destroyed, then you want to find the dragon. Take the strength potions and fight when the dragons come to you on the ground. It will fly away. If you still have some arrows, then you will want to fire them at it. For an entire process while you're in the end, do not, I repeat, do not look at the Enderman. When you killed the Ender Dragon, then wait, wait for it to implode. Then jump through the portal, and it will take you to your bed after the text. Now you have completed Minecraft. You can t continue if you want, or make a new world and try again.